اور اللہ ان نثر اللہ قریب یاد رکھو کہ اللہ کی مدد یقیناً قریب ہے کہ جہاں فضا اور پر شوکت آواز بھی ہم سنیں گے اور ان فتح اللہ کا فتح مبینہ کی خوشخبری اپنی آنکھوں سے دیکھیں گے بس خدا کے حضور جھک جائیں اور اپنے خدا جو سب طاقتوں کا مالک ہے جو مجیب و دعوات ہے اس کے حضور اس طرح چلائیں کہ عرش کے کنگرے بھی ہلنے لگیں اللہ تعالیٰ مجھے بھی اور آپ کو بھی ایسی دعاؤں کی توفیق عطا فرمائے اے شما دیکھ پھر تیرے پروانے آ گئے بندھن تمام توڑ کے دیوانے آ گئے اے شما دیکھ پھر تیرے پروانے آ گئے بندھن تمام توڑ کے دیوانے آ گئے بلاما is a big town It has a population of over 8,000 people. The name Blama actually means a place where there is split. That is to say, it is a junction from where you can get to different places, important places. From Blama, you can get to Kenema, to Freetown, to Bojibu, and elsewhere. Blama in the olden days had many international business organizations. They had the USC, they had PZ, they had the French company, and many Lebanese were there. However, with time, the international business organizations phased out, but the Lebanese were still there. The town still boomed in business. But for the rebel incursion, the Lebanese had to leave. And when they went, they could not return. So today, although business is going on in Blama, but not as much as it was before the rebel incursion. The main activities of the people of Blama is trade, that is business people as well as farmers. گر پڑ کے تیرے در پہ ہے مستانے آگئے اے شما اے شما Of course, religiously, there are two main religious groups in Blama, Christianity and Islam. Of course, naturally, in Blama, some people, although they may be Muslims or Christians, there are yet some that practice traditional activities. For example, they have some belief in witchcraft and some other, well, superstitious, they have some other superstitious beliefs. Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat reached Blama in the early 40s through Pakistani missionaries, two Pakistani missionaries, Molvi Nazir Ahmad Ali and Molvi Mohammed Siddiq, who were based in Bo. At one time, that was in 1942, they made a tour to Levuma and Bado. While they were re returning from Levuma and Bado, they decided to have a brief stopover at Blama. In Blama, they obtained permission from the then paramount chief, Chief Lai Benya, so that he could allow them to assemble the people and talk to them. The paramount chief allowed them to do that. On that day, they were able to win over the heart of some people. They did not permanently stay in Blama, they returned but they paid intermittent visit to Blama and then talked to the people. Later on, it was in 1951 that they decided to send a resident missionary to Blama. That was in the person of Molvi Musa Lahai Suwa. My father was Mobi Musa Lahai Soa, who was a born native of Pujan district in the Bandajuma Soa, an Oxodos Malikia Muslim. 
though he was an opponent, a bitter opposition to the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, but through the preaching of late Al Haji Nazir Ahmad Ali, my father was finally convinced to accept Ahmadiyya. There he signed Bayat and became an Ahmadi. When he came, he based at Lime of Futa, but the two villages are very close. There he moved and then propagated the Islamic religion as well as Ahmadiyya to other parts of the small boat chiefdom. From village to village, house to house, preaching the message. Even he went beyond the chiefdom and a lot of trials, humiliation was going around him. People were even giving him place to sleep, giving him fines for calling Azan. Sometimes even driving him out of the village. But he undergo all those sufferings for the truth to prevail. So when my father continued his preaching, he met an elderly person who was Pafode Kuruma. He was an Amadi before. So he joined him in his preaching, and they later went to the PC, the Paramount Chief, and gave him the message. And the Paramount Chief, although he, was, he did not accept Amadia, but he realized the truth and became sympathizer. And through his influence, a land was allocated to my father. Well, the Ahmadiyya mission uh, must have entered this chiefdom probably way back in the 40s uh, during my grandfather, uh, Paramount Chief Lahad Damia Benya. But uh, it really got hold, I would say, in the 50s, when my father was paramount chief at that time, from 1952. And um, the mission was given land, and they had built a mosque, and later on they built a school, and we had students attending uh, the school that was uh, built by the mission. Uh, they, it started back in the 50s, uh, a very strong paramount chief from uh, Simbaru Chiefdom uh, in Boijabu, paramount chief Kenawa Gamanga. Uh, he was really the backbone behind the mission in this part of the country. And uh, he, re he remained a very loyal or devoted person to the, the religion up to the time of his death. The paramount chief told my father to build the house closer to his house. And there, my father built his house and the mocks for the community. Alongside preaching, the urge came that, uh, well, Islam is being preached, Ahmadiyat is being preached. But at that time, there was no Islamic school in the whole chiefdom. So there were only Christian schools, the, the Roman Catholic school, and then the Anglican school. And naturally, pupils that attended those schools were forced to, attend, to, to, to go to church. And for some, they were even converted to Christianity. Muslim parents did not want that one. Since Morbi Musa Sowa had introduced Ahmadiyyad and preaching Islam, they requested if a Muslim school could be opened. So since we don't have building for the school, so my father decided to open classes in the mocks. In 1963, the Ahmadiyya Primary School was started as the first Islamic school in the area. Because of the continuous preaching by my late father, a new convert, born native of Blama, 
by the name of Pa Ibrahim Jusu, coming from a well-known family, he and his family accepted Amadea. And later on, they donated a very big, a big piece of land for the monk, school and the monks. Like in the case of the primary school, there was a need for an Islamic secondary school because only a Christian school run by the Catholic mission was run as a secondary school in Blama and in the small boat children as a whole. So the Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School Blama started as the first Islamic secondary school in the chiefdom, in Blama particularly. And since then, the school is running there. The introduction of Ahmadiyat is a big blessing for the Blama settlement and for the people of Blama as a whole. And the blessing is in different folds. Religiously, those people that have accepted the fold of Ahmadiyat have dropped these um, superstitious beliefs, fetish activities, and those other things that are on Islamic. Why? Before accepting Ahmadiyyat, whenever any trials came my way, I used to go to the soothsayers to know the cause and sometimes I used to curse those who had offended me. Later, I started taking advice from the Imams. But now, Ahmadiyyat has taught me that we should put all our trust in Allah the Almighty and state all our matters to Allah in prayers. And that is what I am doing now. They said to me, as long as you have said you are an Ahmadi, you have to leave all your positions, which I accepted. I said to them, this leadership is only for this world and not the hereafter. I have to hold religion strongly. Apart from that, I was also a stakeholder in town. But since I accepted Ahmadiyyat, they have taken all the positions from me. Although I don't have any positions now, but Alhamdulillah, I am happy that I am a Muslim and I pray that I die as a Muslim. Whenever I'm passing, people will ask me, you have joined that Jamaat, that's why it's not good though. You have joined that Jamaat, it is not good. It is good for you to come and pray with us. I say it is true, but I have to join that particular Jamaat because that particular Jamaat, whenever they talk, they make mention to the Holy Quran. Anytime they talk, they make mention to the Holy Quran. And I am going to listen to the Holy Quran. Because during the time when we are not Ahmadi, we are praying in the Malikia monks, most of the things were not openly revealed to us. But when I started praying with Jamaat Ahmadiyya, I started reading their books, I started following their doctrines, I saw a whole lot of changes in my life. Even then, until I completed secondary school, I went, to, I went to college, completed college, but I, I, I was still eager for me to read the Holy Quran. So I started learning the Asana Quran. It's unbelievable that I learned the Asana Quran within a month. Within one month, I completed the Asana Quran and I started the recitation of the Holy Quran. So joining Ahmadiyya motivated me to learn about the Holy Quran. Even though that are non Ahmadis, they have learned from Ahmadiyya the teachings of Ahmadiyya, the practices of the Ahmadis, and they have accepted, although they have not accepted Ahmadiyya, some even openly say, that we know the teachings of Ahmadiyyat is very, very correct, and therefore we are following what they are doing. For example, before Ahmadiyyat, people did not believe in calling Azan. Okay? Now Azan is called all over. Allah, 
over 80 percent of muslims today fold their arms when they when they are praying which they never did and by that they criticize even the Ahmadis. and to say amin after al fatiha they never did today they are doing and uh, the kind of noise they made in the mosque after the, the, the Imam, those they have stopped. That is one benefit Ahmadiyat has brought to the people religiously. The acceptance of the practices of Ahmadiyat, which these non Ahmadis had condemned before, and they too are practicing now, is an indica indication that Ahmadiyat is the true Islam, Islam that was introduced into the world by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as prescribed by the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, our Jamaat here have a center box. Our members are attending their regular five daily prayers. Children are attending classes, the Asana Quran, the Salat, the Holy Quran, the religious knowledge. Alhamdulillah, and our activities is fully in force. Parents send their children to attend classes, and children are eager. Even under rain, they come to attend classes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. They attend the class every day, and they read the Yasana Khan. So, Agladi, for wait for now, we pick it in the land all the time, the kind of mocks. For land, four o'clock, the ordinary mocks. Suba would on pray down, then they land Arsenal Quran, then they land Holy Quran, then they last a lot of pray. So, Alhamdulillah, I'm glad if we, Amadia Jamal don't do this good fitness for we. अपने दिलों की आग जो भड़काने आ गए ऐशमा देख फिर तेरे परवाने आ गए बंधन तमाम तोड़ के दीवाने आ गए ऐशमा देख फिर तेरे परवाने आ गए बंधन तमाम तोड़ के दीवाने आ गए